Where do I even start? It wasn't all bad. There are actually parts I immensely enjoyed. I just crammed all 10 episodes of the final season of Lucifer, and I feel myself asking, was it necessary? In this video, we're discussing whether or not I just wasted 10 hours of my life. Because believe it or not, I've been a pretty big fan of Lucifer since season 2. I have planned to do this video since the conception of this channel, so needless to say I was excited to see if this finale would be worth the wait. And I have mixed feelings. It's a pretty well known fact that season 5 was meant to be the end of the series. Still, after some consideration, Netflix decided to renew it for another season, after most of season 5 was already done filming. This forced the writers to not only rewrite their original finale, but then find a way to stretch it for another 10 episodes. Now, I have some things I like about this final season, and some things I think were a little forced. Today, we're trying to answer the question, was Lucifer Season 6 necessary? Let's start things on a positive note, discussing the things I think worked, then some things that didn't, and I'll end this video by answering the question we all came here for. Was it necessary? Or just a crash grab from Netflix? Welcome to Nerd Things with Kenny. These are my thoughts on the final season of Lucifer, aka Season 6. Also, spoilers, but you knew that. The Positives Regardless if it felt necessary, this show is still Lucifer, and I'd be lying if I said I didn't have a good time watching it. Though I felt a little bored at times, I consistently stayed engaged, curious about what was coming next. Why else would I spend an entire Saturday glued to my TV? I've spent close to six years with these characters. Of course I was invested in their story. A couple of smaller things I liked were the cartoon gag. I thought this was a fun way to make the Hell Loop concept different than what we had seen before. I thought watching Lucifer try to escape while dealing with cartoon logic was hilarious, and I laughed out loud. However, I probably wouldn't have enjoyed it as much if it was an entire episode, so I'm glad they refrained and made it just a simple gag. Also, Baby Charlie finally getting wings was tight, Aminadiel eventually becoming God was cool, even if it should have happened last season, but we'll get to that. I also really enjoyed seeing police brutality against minorities being portrayed accurately. It was nice seeing a show that is relatively known for spreading propaganda take a look inward and realizing some systemic changes need to happen. Now, this isn't a political channel, so that's all I'm going to say about that. It was just refreshing to see, and I wanted to mention it. Digging a little deeper, my favorite episode was 609, Goodbye Lucifer. Watching Lucifer say his goodbyes were very heartfelt, and I ain't gonna lie, I teared up a bit during his goodbye with Maze. It was emotional in all the right ways, and it truly felt earned. I really enjoyed Ella this season. She has always been my favorite character of the show. I enjoyed watching her do the detective work and put it together. They were all celestial beings. I always thought with a show primarily about detectives, it was pretty dumb that none of them just realized it was all real until Ella swooped in as usual and outshined all of them. It's a bummer we only got to see a few episodes with her in the entire celestial loop, but I'll take what I can get. The episode before that, Save the Devil, Save the World, was also quite enjoyable in my opinion. It was good to see pieces of Lucifer's past from a different perspective. It was also a lot of fun and I think it was very well handled. The Sins Now, as I said, this season felt a little unnecessary and that's mainly due to the writers having to scramble to rewrite their finale and stretch it another 10 episodes. And unfortunately, not all of it worked. Let's talk about Detective Carol. This was something that to me felt a little forced, especially since he was only in like five episodes for a short time, and mainly only so Ella could have a love interest after her time with Pete. Something I feel his character would have benefited from is a little more setup in season five. If we had gotten two, maybe three episodes with him, it would have made his character work a little better. However, that was most likely not possible due to the rewrite. Since I first watched this show, I assumed eventually they'd develop a mini deal into becoming God as they did. Last season, when he decided to stay on Earth to live amongst the humans, it made sense. But for me personally, I wish we had gotten to see him become God last season and spent some time this season showing us more of Heaven. I guess I understand why we didn't get to see a lot of Heaven. I mean, this show is about the devil. But it always felt like they were leading up to us seeing more of it this season, only to just get brief glimpses of it. 
I feel like it could have been much more exciting to see the things in heaven that we only ever heard about, like the other angels answering prayers. But let's discuss something I feel was the messiest part of the finale. You may disagree with me, and that's fine. Although I really liked the performance by Brianna Hiddlebrand, it felt like they didn't end with their original finale, so they rushed this story together. Like, they knew their ending and maybe a couple of points they wanted to hit, but some of it felt like filler, which shouldn't happen in a 10-episode show released all at the same time. I really liked Lucifer overall. I know I'm kind of harsh. Lucifer has always been a little cheesy at times and has not always made complete sense. Overall, I'm still pretty happy with the series as a whole, and I could see myself returning to it for a binge after some time. Now let's get to the point you've all been waiting for me to answer. Was it necessary? Probably not. The writers originally planned to end at season 5 and wrote and released half of the season planning to do that. Had we gotten to see season 5 as our finale, we would have gone out on the highest of notes, with the Minadil most likely becoming God as the series finale. Yes, I 100% that whole Lucifer becoming God thing was part of the rewrite. This always felt like an afterthought to me, and I wasn't all that surprised when he eventually realized that he didn't want it. It may not have been necessary, but I still feel it was a fun season. As I said before, there are plenty of positive parts. I had a good time watching it. Not every episode was a winner, and it may have been a better ending if it creatively was allowed to end when it was intended. Also, I just realized I made it to the end of this video and I haven't mentioned the man himself. Lucifer Tom Ellis has always brought a particular personality to the role of Lucifer Morningstar. He's devilishly handsome for one. I mean, look at this guy. But he's another actor on the level of Ryan Reynolds in my opinion. He's witty, charming, and he knows how to be dramatic and serious when the time calls for it. Yo, am I crushing on the devil? He's really brought this character to life, and I honestly couldn't see another actor playing this role in the way he does. Congrats to the team behind Lucifer. Although I made some criticisms in this video, I really enjoyed the show. So I guess I'd rank the final season 7 out of 10? That's all I've got for you guys today. If you enjoyed this video, drop a like, comment, subscribe. I appreciate you all. I'm out of here. Peace!